Thousands of Arab Israelis have taken to the streets of Tel Aviv denouncing a controversial new law. The Israeli parliament recently passed a Jewish nation state bill. Crowds chanted resist apartheid and we are all brothers. The new law downgraded Arabic from an official language of Israel to a language with so-called special status. And journalist Anna Reitman was at the rally for RT. We're at the Tel Aviv municipality at Rabin Square, where an estimated 18,000 demonstrators have shown up to protest the nation state bill. One can hear calls for peaceful relations between Jews and Arabs. One can see lots of signs that are in both Hebrew and Arabic talking about shame over the law. And people have come from all over the country in order to protest here today. The legislation states that Israel is the nation state of the Jewish people with exclusive rights to self-determination. Supporters say that individual rights will continue to be protected under Israeli democracy and that the bill is the will of the majority. Critics of the nation state legislation, which has constitutional weight, object that it does not include a provision stating that all Israelis are equal under the law. This is a march for first class uh, citizenship. This is a march for uh, equality and for uh, dignity. The nation uh, state law is a discriminatory law. It uh, basically categorizes the uh, Arab uh, community within Israel as a second or third class citizens. And we are here to say that uh, we cannot allow that and we will continue our struggle to repeal this law and to achieve uh, full equality in our homeland. I don't think this law will immediately affect uh, people directly. It's not that the law says that something bad will happen to Arabs immediately, but I think that in the long run, I think it's a, it's a big mistake to, to start making laws that uh, discriminate against Arabs and, and so on. It's called a nation law. It means this state, it should be to the Jew, and me as minority, as Arab, I should be out. So it's really, it's unbelievable. It's a dictatorship. It's going to be apartheid state. It's going to be a dictatorship state. And I want to save this state as democracy. This rally follows several demonstrations, one of which included tens of thousands of members of the Jewish community who are Arab-speaking Israeli citizens that also serve in the military. It's expected that the battle against the nation-state law will continue to the Supreme Court. Several petitions have been filed against it. Demonstrators are now marching about a kilometer away to Tel Aviv Museum, where the rally will continue. Anna Reitman, RT in Tel Aviv.